Hi, this is Dr. Gary. Welcome to our daily tune-up today. Today we're going to talk about something that is one of the most dangerous elements in our communication and in our relationships. When we exercise this element, what happens is we create absolute bombshells in the way we deal with other people and the way we handle our relationships. What I'm talking about is something called expectations. In a relationship, if we have expectations that a person is going to react in a certain way and behave in a certain way, we're in trouble from the start. The best thing to do in any relationship is to expect pretty much nothing. So anything that you get from that relationship is a precious gift. If I ask you to bring me a bouquet of flowers when you come in at least once a week, and then you do that, I'm expecting it, you're expecting me to expect it, and it's not a surprise. So the ability for you to give me a gift and feel good about it is completely gone. And also I'm not surprised because I know I manipulated you into doing that. So when we have relationships, we have to be careful of our expectations. Expectations are the doorstep to disappointment. This week and the rest of this week and forevermore, I want you to really think about your expectations on the ones that you love, whether it's your spouse, or your kids, of course, there's intelligence there that says we have to get them through school and we expect them to show up. We are married to someone. We want them to be faithful and kind to us. We expect that. But the expectations I'm talking about are expectations of the little things. You know, they didn't do this or they didn't do that. I expect them to come home and do this and I expect them to take me to the movie once a week. If you have a fight and you start talking about those things, then that other person changes to make you happy, you will never trust it. You have to allow the natural flow of the relationship to take hold and gently suggest things in a nice way so it's not something that you're making a mandate on. And when someone else in the relationship feels they have high expectations on you, learn how to gingerly explain and talk about those things in a very peaceful way without using them as daggers and weapons. Our expectations are a wonderful thing when we have goals, when we have objectives, and when we put them on ourself. However, when we put them on someone else, what happens is those expectations turn into a dangerous minefield. And in the bedroom, it can be disastrous. So this week, Pull back those expectations and give yourself permission to allow someone to give you the gift of their relationship. This is Dr. Gary. Until tomorrow, I love all of you. Thank you for all of your emails and your suggestions. I appreciate it. And remember, you can contact me at drgarydaniel at aol.com. Until tomorrow, you have a great day.